Hello everybody. My name is Bill Harrison with Hardening Power Systems. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, about something called the juice box. Uh, some of you are familiar with it. Um, many are not. Uh, wanted to take an opportunity to briefly explain the features, um, the operation, and the, the nature of the device, what it is, what it does. Um, I'm sure there will be more videos. There's there's uh, plenty to talk about when it comes to this type of equipment and what it can be used for and what it can't be used for. Um, and uh, we're more than happy to, to talk about about what we've got here and uh, and and what it can do for it. Um, juice box is built into a U.S. Army ammo can. Many of you are probably familiar. Um, you're talking about an extremely durable, very robust metal case with uh, welded seams, um, completely watertight. No question, the, the way the lid works, it cams over and there's a, a continuous gasket that, uh, that gets pinched. Um, uh, very effective uh, at doing its job, which is to protect whatever you put inside. Um, in this case, we, uh, we clean them up and, uh, and apply uh, three or four coats of a, of a good enamel paint. Uh, we think they look gorgeous. Um, a little biased, probably. But in any event, the, uh, the box is a little smaller than a briefcase. Weighs about 28 pounds, fully loaded. Uh, it's got a, a, a cam locking system for the lid. The lid is removable. Uh, there's a, uh, a piece of open cell foam, uh, very tough foam under the lid, and uh, you can't, you wouldn't know, but it's also on the underside of the box. Um, and what happens when that lid is 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 closed and then pinched? shut and you can appreciate just how how well that happens or at least what, what kind of force we're talking when that cams over the whole chassis all the inside uh, components are, are pinched between those those pieces of foam it's very solid there's no movement very secure um, the uh, The juice box it's uh it, it it's it's fair to say it is a complete alternate energy system in a box. Um, any alternate energy system needs to have a way to uh, to generate power, a way to uh, to store that power, and then of course a way to deliver that power. Um, and there are many ways to, to get that done. Um, virtually all of them are scalable. Um, anything from, from large uh, installations, commercial stuff, military things, uh, to much more common uh, residential uh, farming uh, applications um, on down to things like this, or even smaller. You've seen perhaps the, the small panels meant to just charge a cell phone, for example, things like that. Um, the panels are getting less expensive. The technology is getting better. Um, uh, really, not much new science. It's it's kind of old science, but uh, on the manufacturing side, things are getting more efficient uh, as demand slowly creeps up. Economies of scale kick in, and uh, the, we we strongly believe it's it's becoming more approachable. Uh, it's uh, it's the payoff is quicker because the initial expense is less. Um, and that's really the case with the juice box. Um, something at this price point that represents all the components of an alt energy system is kind of exciting. Um, in any case, uh, a system like this has uh, uh, two methods of, of, uh, of storing energy or delivering that energy. Um, one, and I don't think, one is the, uh, uh, the solar panel that comes with the system, and that panel slips in here. Um, this particular one is uh, made by Powerfilm. Really a neat outfit. Um, you know, the, the, this panel is the one you may have seen uh, demonstrations. People shoot the holes through it with. with Um, and it's 
not bulletproof, but uh, it continues to run. Um, the point really is the circuits are, are independent of, of one another, um, and uh, they can take a crazy amount of abuse. We, we've not had any trouble, haven't heard anything about any trouble whatsoever, and we actually use them a lot too. They, they come in different sizes. Um, the 10 watt version, this one, is simply the one that, that, that works best in our size format here. Um, but uh, this folds up easily and uh, plugs directly into the juice box. Uh, uh, so anyway, two ways to, to bring power in. One is through the solar panel. And you don't have to use that solar panel or you can use more than one. The solar controller um, is capable of handling up to 60 watts of incoming solar power. Again, the panel that comes with the juice box is 10. So you can imagine that you can quadruple or more uh, the amount of solar capacity and uh, the controller is going to handle that with no problem. Um, and actually, if you're familiar at all uh, with, with the solar industry, uh, our controller is made by Morningstar, which is absolutely one of the, the premier uh, builders. Um, very high quality stuff. Uh, really nice to work with. Uh, nice equipment. Works very well. Actually, for example, that particular solar controller is fully potted in, in epoxy, meaning that it's encased in a brick of, of plastic. Um, it's completely waterproof itself. They're oftentimes used in remote installations or uh, electric fence chargers or water pumping stations. Um, but uh, a really good solar controller. Um, and then the other way that uh, the juice box can handle incoming power is just by plugging it into the wall. 